In this video, I'm going to show you how I make church DVDs. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO back with another video. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, first off, thank you. And on this channel, we focus on tips, tricks, training, strategies, reviews and bills on how to modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, I know if anybody's been on my channel for any period of time, I'm always pushing for new technology, but I don't always just throw away all the old stuff. Um, for a long time, we made DVDs and it used to be before that CDs and then before that it was tapes. Now, I don't recommend you still making tapes because when's the last time you've seen a tape player but um there are many times where there are situations where we need to continue to support the previous generations so at our church last year i actually stopped making dvds on a regular basis we still have the ability to make them but we only make them on demand when somebody requests them so i wanted to go through and show you how i actually make DVDs and actually I was in a position today where I actually need to make DVDs um, one of my friends um, unfortunately his wife passed and they had a funeral today so they wanted to make that into a DVD so I'm gonna while doing that might as well just share with you how I actually do that so let me clean my desktop up and let's go over here to making a DVD all right so I'm here on my desktop and before I get started I have my memory card, my memory card reader that we talked about before in a previous video up here. And I need to go ahead and import this. But the good thing is when it comes to making a DVD, I don't necessarily have to copy this, but that's only because the computer is fast enough to do this. So the program of choice that I use is DVD Architect. Um, it was originally by Sony. It's been bought out by another company. I'll have a link in the description to the actual company. There are a bunch of other softwares that you can use to make DVDs, but I've been using DVD Architect for years and they still make it and it is a quality product and it's really simple to use. So let me walk you through how I'm actually gonna do this. So first off, we have our desktop, but let's go ahead and start new. So I'm gonna do a new project and it gives you a menu. Now, this is the other thing that I always talk about from a church standpoint, we wanna have high production value when we're presenting whatever type of stuff that we're doing. So don't be like a typical DVD and you just throw it up onto your whatever DVD program and just go. Um, you want to have a menu or something that's inviting so that people will know about this. So what I'm going to do is I have, like I said, this is for a friend's funeral, um, his wife's funeral. So I'm going to actually pull up some pictures to use them on this, uh, on the cover, the menu that I'm actually going to use. Now, I like DVD Architect because it actually allows you to put a video in the background or still image. So what I'm going to do is actually make a still image. Like I said, I'm just going to make this when I'm done. I'm going to add the picture of his wife in this. So I didn't get permission to put her stuff out there. So I'm just going to do it like this. So let's pick something that's nice and heartfelt and something that will make it kind of stand out here. And I'll use this one because it's kind of a sun setting, something like that. So let's go ahead and just remove watermarks. So this is actually free image, but the elements here are not free, which I think that's kind of unique. But anyway, so we're gonna have a sun setting here and let's put some text on here like this. I'm gonna change the size of this just to make it fit. So we're gonna change this to celebration of life. Obviously that's too much. 
from a size. So let's shrink that down so it'll fit. And let's change this text down as well. And again, this is just what I like to do. You can do it any way you want to, but it's just making it stand out. So let's go ahead and change the color of this so that it will pop. And like we normally do, we're going to select this, make a copy. Oop, not that. We want to copy the text. And then we're going to make this black and make this as our shadow to go behind all of this. Let's move that. Oop, oop. that and bring all that forward move this one back and it changed my color on me So similar to what you have in your welcome screen on your live stream, I mean, you could do something like that if you want to. Um, it all depends on how you want to do it all. So why is this one? Oh, I need to push. That one back. All right, and then you might want to put a date on here as well too. So we'll say the funeral's date. Well, let's do the classic sunrise all right real simple copy that make that white copy that make that white and we're gonna have an accent there all right so that's what we're gonna use for our menu really straightforward i mean again like i said you can always change a different picture um, if you wanted to but this is going to be good so we'll just call this general title give it a name let's download it so let's go ahead and cut back over to here and what i'm going to do is change my background i'm going to remove this and then i'm going to replace it with the one we just made All right, see, really nice. So let's get rid of this menu. And all we're gonna do now is, this is what you can always simulate what this is gonna look like. So, real nice. And let's go ahead, we're gonna right click, insert media. This is where we're gonna add the video file from the funeral. Now I'm gonna go back and edit this video because this is the raw cut, so I'm gonna, cut out some of the beginning and the end of what's not needed, but the same premise of what I'm doing is still gonna work fine. All right, so I believe, yeah, this was it. All right, so now that we got this, it's just a block image. Now what I'm gonna do here is right click on here. I'm gonna change the button style to text, and we're gonna make it look like old classic DVD. We're gonna just have play. I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna change the font size. Let's actually put the play right in between that. Or right here. It all depends how you wanna do that. So let's put it right here. So now what we're gonna do is double click on this and now here's the video. Now I can drag this here to show when the funeral is gonna start, but what I wanna do is actually start right at the it was a slideshow at the very beginning of the uh, funeral so I want to include that so let me zoom in here and now what I do is I like this program because it allows you to make chapters what people normally do is they put a DVD up on there and when you put it on there it just plays if they want to rewind something or they hit the back by accident you have to go all the way back to the beginning so I like putting chapters like every 10 minutes so that when you press back you're only going back 10 minutes instead of all the way at the beginning that's just something small that you can do to make the quality of your DVD almost like it's something that you would really see 
you know, let's stick it with there. All right, so what I do is I move the cursor and the easiest thing, you see these little white bars here. I just pick skip to, and then you press the M button or this insert marker. I like M, it just makes it easy. So M, there's a chapter right there. You could give it a title, I don't. I just let it automatically add the numbers up for me. So that's chapter two, skip two white bars, another M, and I just keep doing that for every two bars. Now you could get fancy and find out like the beginning of a song or something like that. So each chapter, um, it goes to a specific part. I didn't do that. I used to do that, but from saving time, I just did it that way. It made it easier. Um, Cause pretty much the way it's split up is every 10 minutes or however this is cut. So it looks like it's right about every 10 minutes. So you're close enough to whatever events that are going on. All right, so let's go back here to our main menu and let's preview this. So now see, this is how it's gonna show up. It's gonna just pop up with this. You can put background music on here if you want to, which I probably will do later on. Um, and how you do that is here, it has audio. You just pick whatever that you want, song that you want there. You can select how long the song is, does it repeat, do it, all that stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I'm not doing that at this time. So let's go to preview. And now we hit play, see it jumps to right there where I'm gonna clean this up but we can go to our next chapter and see it jumps to different oh, I didn't mean to stop it. So let's play it again. I skip ahead. Now I gotta come back and make sure the audio is fine as well too. So I'm gonna have to increase the volume here. But I'm fine right there. There's your boy right there on that organ right there. That's me. So I was playing right here. So, um, still got a chance to play, but anyway. So we, we see that all of our chapters are working. You know, skip, skip. And and that's that's um her husband. Um, you know, really great guy. So really making this for him and the family as well too. So um, James, this is for you, man. Uh, but anyway, we go ahead, skip, and we have multiple chapters and that helps out through the whole thing. And then that's the end. And then you can sample in here the menu buttons and because it's we only have one menu it jumps right back so that's about it and i'm gonna add a you know this is by antioch media and all this other fun stuff like that so you can get as fancy as you want but see this is so much better than just a, a dvd that somebody puts in and just like boom it just starts playing it's all about in the presentation so and then what i do when we talked about in our storage video we come in here I, now I do have some blank DVDs that I will make and make labels for later on. Um, but what I do is I come in here and burn this and let me change this to where I normally do this. So I can check the size more than enough space for all this. And because I need to <laughs> do some other stuff, it has to update all of this. I can crank up the quality pretty high to fill up the disc. And then I can give it a name, which is gonna be uh, I'll just use her initials. Now I use an ISO writer, which is a digital version of a DVD. And this is where you can make DVDs but not have to go through supplies. You're making a digital version, it's just a file, and you can burn them on demand anytime you want. But in this computer I'm on, it doesn't have a DVD, my other one does. So that's why this is the only option. So I pick here, we go by the date and time, but since that was the only event that was going on for the day, I just used the time. And now this is a digital DVD. It will act just like a DVD, but it's just a file on your computer, like a Word document. So anytime I want to burn a DVD in the future, I would just right click on it, put a blank disc in the computer, burn. That's pretty much it. And this is how I actually archive our DVDs at church. We don't physically burn them out. We just burn them. We just make a digital version of them and they just stay in that archive that we talked about in a previous video, how we archive videos, we archive our services, 
or DVDs the exact same way. Um, so I hope that helps. Again, I will leave the link in the description. It is DVD Architect. It should be pretty cheap now, um, but this is one of those tools that there's, it's still relevant to keep it. So even though I move in with tech, move forward with technology, I still make DVDs by request. And hopefully that was really simple. Hopefully that helped you. So question of the day, do y'all at your church, do you still burn DVDs? Do you still make CDs? I'd love to hear what everybody else is doing. Leave them in the comments. I read them all. I really like to see what everybody else is doing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos here. This is AJ, the CEO. We will see you in the next video. Later.